Hey friends, now we are going to discuss the important multiple choice questions on investment accounting. So let us start with first questions. It says dash are assets held by an enterprise for earning income by way of dividends, interest and rentals or capital appreciation etc. See student, this statement says that dash are assets held by an enterprise for earning income by way of dividends, interest and rentals or capital appreciation. Okay, so here the recurring interest, uh, recurring income like dividend, interest and rental is earned or there is a possibility of capital appreciation. So these kinds of assets are considered as investments. So here option B is the right answer. Okay, investments are assets held by an enterprise for earning income by way of dividends, interest and rentals or capital appreciation, etc. Let us move on the next question. It says, which of the following is not investment as per AS 13? So this question uh, asks us about which of the following is not an investment. Okay, and AS 13, so this accounting standard 13 deals with the investment accounting. Okay, so because of this, uh, the reference of AS 13 is here in this question. Okay, so the question asks, which of the following is not investment as per AS 13? So options are stock in trade, shares, debentures, mutual funds. So friends, here logically we can... Uh, strike out or we can identify the point which is not investment as per AS 13. So stock in trade. So it means the stock held by a trader for trading purpose. So this stock in trade is not an, considered as an investment as per AS 13. Okay. Other options, shares, debentures and mutual fund units. These are investments as per the AS 13. So here option a is the right answer because question asks us about which of the following is not investment as per as 13 so here option a is the right answer stock in trade is not an investment as per as 13 shares debentures mutual fund all these are considered as investment as per as 13 right let us move on the next question and it says investments are classified into dash categories as per AS 13. So as per AS 13 that is accounting uh, standard 13 investments are generally classified as current investment and non-current current investments. So basically as per AS 13 investments are classified into two categories. So here option A is the right answer. Okay. Let us move on the next question and it says a current investment is an investment which is held for less than dashi. Okay. So as in previous question I mentioned uh, that as per AS 13 investments are classified as current investment and non-current investment. So this question number 4 asks us a current investment is an investment which is held for less than dash year. So basically investment which is held for less than one year is considered as current year, a current investment and investment which is held for more than one year is non-current investment. Okay. So here option C is the right answer. Okay. Jab bhi investment less than one year ke liye koi bhi organization apne paas rakta hai, that investment is considered as a current investment. Right. So here option C is the right answer that is one year less than one year. Okay. Let us move on the next question and it says dash is the amount for which an asset could be exchanged between a knowledgeable willing buyer and a knowledgeable willing seller in an arm's length transaction. So basically this sentence asks us about, ask us about dash is the amount for which an asset could be exchanged between a knowledgeable willing buyer and knowledgeable willing seller. So options are face value, cost value, market value or fair value. See, the, here uh, you can confuse between these two options C and D. But students, see, 
the statement says dash is the amount for which an asset could be exchanged between knowledgeable willing buyer and knowledgeable willing seller so word knowledgeable so this whenever this word comes you have to keep in mind that it is about the fair value of investment okay this market value so market value it is the value which is there in the market prevailing market value okay jis price pe aap sell kar paoge that is market value right so here fair value is the amount for which an asset could be exchanged between knowledgeable willing buyer and knowledgeable willing seller seller so here option d is the right answer that is fair value let us move on the next questions and it says dash is the amount receivable from the sale of an investment in an open market okay so agar hum open market mein investment bechte hai to hame jo amount milta hai use kya kehte so it it is known as market value right market value is the amount receivable from the sale of an investment in an open market okay so for question number 6 option c is the right answer that is market value is the amount receivable from the sale of an investment in an open market right let us <clears throat> so students before moving ahead uh, before discussing further questions i would like to show you the format of investment account okay so basically investment account is prepared in this format okay isi format mein investment account prepared hota hai so here you can see that it has debit side and credit side okay so this is the middle line okay date capital value and date is ke beech mein jo line hai ye middle so on debit side you can say the column date particular nominal value interest and capital value so these five columns are on the debit side and on credit side date particular nominal value interest and capital value so same columns are on the credit side okay so basically in this format we prepared investment account in accounting okay so in this investment account we record the opening balance of investment as a to balance brought down okay so opening balance of investment is recorded on the debit side okay or jo bhi nominal value hai that is face value of investment is recorded in nominal value column if there is a interest accrued interest on investment it is recorded in interest column and actual value spent to buy that security or buy that uh, investment is recorded in capital value column okay so here to understand this how transaction are recorded uh, look at this transaction which is uh, on the 1st may 2020 to bank or in bracket purchase so basically here uh, the firm has purchased investment uh, of the face value of 50000 okay but actually they have paid more than 50000 so in capital column we have to record that amount and uh, if the transaction is x interest we have to exclude the interest and if the transaction is uh, come interest we have to in, uh, include that interest in this price okay so we are going to discuss about this in uh, the uh, further slides okay so here uh, basically uh, i wanted to show you the format of uh, the investment account basically right so let us move on the next question and uh, it is about the investment account is dash account okay so options are personal account real account nominal account saving account so basically students see investment account is a real account so here option b is the right answer okay so we know that uh, the accounts of assets and properties are real account so as per that principal investment account is also real account and uh, we know the rule of real account is debit what comes in and credit what goes out it means debit what comes in agar humne uh, investment purchase kiya then we will debit the uh, investment account right and if we sell the investment investment account will get credited okay so basically investment account is an uh, is a real account so here option b is the right answer next question says the cost of an investment includes dash charges such as brokerages fees and duties so the cost of an investment includes dash charges so basically uh, acquisition charges 
ओके जो भी चार्जेस होते हैं एट द टाइम ऑफ परचेस ऑफ सिक्योरिटीज ब्रोकरेज फीस एंड ड्यूटीज सो दो चार्जेस आर नोन एज एक्विजेशन चार्जेस सो द कॉस्ट ऑफ एन इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्लूड्स एक्विजेशन चार्जेस सो हियर ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर ओके लेट अस मूव ऑन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड इट सेज द कैरिंग अमाउंट कैरिंग अमाउंट फॉर डैश इन्वेस्टमेंट इज द लोअर ऑफ कॉस्ट एंड फेयर वैल्यू so these students these questions the carrying amount uh, for current investment and carrying amount for non current investment are the basic things related to this topic it means whenever we uh, carry forward the investment we have to value that investment basically okay for accounting purpose and for that purpose we uh, record or we carry the amount of uh, current investment at uh, lower of cost and fair value and for long term investment we consider the cost price of investment so let us focus on this question it says the carrying amount for dash investment and options are fixed investment long term short term and current investment so students for current investments uh, the carrying amount for current investment is the lower of cost and fair value okay so here option d is the right answer right let us move on the next question and it says long term investments are usually carried at so as i uh, said in the question of previous uh, discussion uh, in the discussion on previous questions that long term investments are usually carried at cost value okay so here option a is the right answer okay short term investments are carried at the lower of cost and fair value and long term investments are usually carried at cost value right so here option e is the right and uh, right answer for question number 10 let us move on the next question it says to record investments and to a certain profit or loss on them dash account is prepared so we have discussed about that to record investments and to a certain the profit or loss on them uh we prepare investment account so here option a is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says all investments whether it is current or long term initially recorded at okay so this statement says all kinds of investments current and long term or current and non current investment initially recorded at cost price whatever cost price we spend to acquire that uh, investment so for uh, we record those investment at cost value or cost price so here option b is the right answer right let us move on the next questions and it says x interest and cum interest are so see students this x interest transaction and cum interest transactions are basically two ways of quoting investment price so investment price is quoted in the market as x interest or cum interest so here option b is the right answer right so basically these are not types of investment student or these are not ways of charging for brokerage basically these are two ways of quoting investment price in the market okay x interest means the price of investment does not include the amount of interest it, it basically it excludes the amount of interest and cum interest means it includes the amount of interest right so for question number 13 option b is the right answer x interest and cum interest are two ways of quoting investment price let us move on the next question it says interest is to be calculated on the dash of investments and options are purchase value cost value base value or fair value so students keep in mind that interest is always calculated on the face value of investment right so here option c is the right answer interest is to be calculated on the face value let us move on the next questions and it says cum interest basis means purchase price so in previous question i have discussed that cum interest means it includes so here option d is the right answer cum interest basis means purchase price includes interest from the last date of interest payment to the date of transactions 
next statement says the expenses incurred on the purchase of investments are to be dash in the purchase price of investment so friends when we purchase investments so expenses incurred on the purchase of investments like uh, if the cost price uh, of the investment is 1000 rupees and we spent the brokerage of rupees 10 or brokerage of rupees 50 so basically we have to add the amount of brokerage in that price okay purchase price so basically here option uh, b that is the expenses incurred on the purchase of investments are to be added so your option b is the right answer so basically whenever we purchase investments we have to add the acquisition charges or brokerages and we uh, when we sell the investment we have to subtract okay so here as the statement is about the purchase of investment so we have to add or uh, invest uh, expenses incurred on the purchase of investments are to be added let us move on the next questions and it says x interest basis means the purchase price of securities dash interest so x interest basis means it excludes is may include nahi so here option b is the right answer that is x interest basis means the purchase price of securities excludes interest next question says opening balance of investment at the beginning of the year is recorded on dash sides of the investment account so uh, when we discuss about the investment account or format of investment account in that i discuss that opening balance of investment account is shown on the debit side so here option c is the right answer okay let us move on the next question and it says under dash method it is assumed that investment which are purchased first are sold first okay so under dash method and options are lipo method fipo method average method and cost method so lipo means last in first out fipo means first in first out so under this method fipo method it is assumed that investment which are purchased first are sold first it means first in first out so here option b is the right so for question number 19 option d is the answer let us move on the next question and it says at the time of sale of investment brokerage and other charges are dash from selling price so as i uh, told you uh, in previous questions that when we sell the investment we have to subtract the brokerage and other charges okay so here option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says which of the following statement is are not true about fixed income bearing security so students read this statement carefully it says which of the following statement is are not true it means false concept about fixed income bearing security so following statements are about the fixed income bearing securities it means jin pe fixed rate se कुछ इनकम मिलता है ऐसे सिक्योरिटीज के बारे में पूछ रहे हैं सो ऑप्शंस आर इट इंक्लूड्स इन्वेस्टमेंट इन गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज एंड डिबेंचर्स यस सो फिक्स्ड इनकम बेयरिंग सिक्योरिटी मतलब जिस पे फिक्स रेट से इंटरेस्ट मिलता है सो गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज एंड डिबेंचर्स इस पे रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज फिक्स्ड सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू सेकंड स्टेटमेंट सेस इंटरेस्ट इज कैलकुलेटेड ऑन द फेस वैल्यू यस interest is calculated on the face value for every investment so second statement is also true third statement says income is not fixed see this is contrary statement because uh, question is about the fixed income bearing securities and option c says income is not fixed so this is not true so here option c is the right answer you can uh, observe or see the next uh, option that is d example 9% debentures so 9% debentures means rate of interest is fixed that is investor will get 9% interest on these debentures okay so for question number 21 uh, answer or option c is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says investment in equity shares comes under dash category so investment in equity shares come under options are fixed income bearing variable income bearing non income bearing or none of these 
so uh, we know that on equity shares the rate of dividend is not fixed okay so those are not fixed income bearing securities but variable income bearing securities okay so for uh, question number 22 option b is the right answer that is investment in equity shares comes under variable income bearing category or variable income bearing securities right so here option b is the right answer right okay so students those were a uh, few important multiple choice questions on the investment uh, or accounting for investments and uh, this is the format of investment account we have to prepare investment account in this format only students if you think that uh, we should take some practical examples uh, on this topic so let me know in the comment section and make sure that you subscribe the channel and uh, like share this share video uh, students just for one minute i would like to show you the basic information about this topic okay so this slide uh, is about the basic information about the investment account that is uh, investment is basically employment of funds to earn additional income and uh, company and individuals invest in various assets basically bank deposit physical assets financial assets digital assets these are the examples of investment investment is broad concept but in accountancy investment concept is used in narrow sense okay so in accounting uh, investment includes only securities like debentures government bonds government uh, securities and uh, shares a included okay so because of this uh, in accounting we use this sentence uh, use this concept investment in narrow sense next point is uh, a company or an individual invest exceeds funds in securities right when excess money is invested right in securities it is called investment right and to ascertain the profit or loss on investment the separate account is prepared it is known as investment account okay so thank you friends thanks for watching